There's a new move coming to give veterans and everyone else the same protections that active duty military families get when it comes to lending. Loans that are signed off to service members are capped at an interest rate of 36%. The Military Lending Act also caps finance charges, credit insurance premiums, and other fees. A group of senators plan on introducing a bill this week that will expand those protections to civilians as well. The proposal is expected to get pushback from groups like the American Bankers Association. Now, some states have their own interest rate cap loan laws. Now, the Center for Responsible Lending says lenders are finding a way around them. We call, we're calling it rent-a-bank, and so this is where uh, lenders are partnering with, with state chartered banks from other states that don't have an interest rate cap and trying to, uh, trying to provide those loans in states that do have an interest rate cap. Now, there are two types of loans to watch out for. One is payday loans, and the other is high-cost installment loans. A high-cost installment loan is a larger amount that takes longer to pay back. For example, a $2,500 loan for four or five years that the borrower ends up paying back as much as fourteen dollars to $18,000. Now, as many as 40% of people wind up not being able to pay them back. It's a, it's a win-win for the lender, and as a borrower, you end up with um, bad credit, uh, collections, debt collection calls, and even bankruptcy. The Center for Responsible Lending also found high-interest loan lenders target veterans, African Americans, and Latino families.